Two Syrian families trying to make it into the U.S. are detained in South Texas after crossing the Texas-Mexico border this week. The Department of Homeland Security said the eight people turned themselves in in Laredo on Tuesday and they were asking for asylum. A group of protesters now planning to take their fight to Governor Greg Abbott's front steps saying refugees should be welcome here in Texas. Alicia Inns has more on the movement happening this weekend. I think the thought is that these families um, surrendered themselves asking for asylum. Alicia. That's that's right, Sally. Yeah, good morning. And I, we've been hearing a lot of criticism from this announcement that Governor Abbott made earlier this week saying no Syrian refugees would be allowed in the state. He's actually one of several governors across, across the country that have been making similar stances. And in wake of that, we're now seeing kind of the backlash from people in this community saying they should be allowed. And so they're doing that protest right at the governor's mansion around the corner here from the state capitol this weekend. So let's talk about this a little bit because since the deadly Paris attacks, the governor has ordered law enforcement leaders to ensure that refugees already here in Texas don't pose a risk to public safety. In fact, this week, the governor appointed a refugee coordinator, and he says the first order of business is to oversee the state health department as it sends its policy changes to federal officials. But others argue that we must not forget our values in the face of terrorism. Well, it certainly compromises our values that we are not a country that accepts immigrants. As governor of the state of Texas, I will not roll the dice and take the risk on allowing a few refugees in uh, simply uh, to expose Texans to that danger. Now, taking a closer look at the number here, Texas officials estimate about 200 Syrian refugees have resettled in Texas. This is numbers from just last year alone. Now, this protest is expected to gather at noon on Sunday at the governor's mansion. They've actually created a Facebook page to invite people to join. So far, when I last checked, about more than 2,000 people have said they're going to be attending something like this. It'll be interesting to see if they are able to make any changes at this point. Kate and Sally, send it back to you. Alicia, thank you. That's happening at the state level. What about the city level, local? Well, Council Member Don Zimmerman here in Austin wants to follow in the governor's footsteps and he wants to keep Syrian refugees out of Austin. He filed a resolution to keep city agencies and departments from acting or from spending any kind of money to relocate these refugees from Syria. Zimmerman wants people to come voice their opinion on the matter at a public safety hearing that he's having November 30th at City Hall. And Council Member Ann Kitchen on City Council says this is playing into exactly what ISIS terrorists want.